Hi friends, welcome to Learn with Krishna Sandeep channel. In this video, we'll write a Java program to find intersection of two element, I mean two arrays in Java. Uh, let me correct this. Uh, it's the intersection of two arrays. Okay, we'll write a Java program. So this is one of the important program asked in many interviews. So how do you find the intersection of two arrays? How do you find the common elements in between the two arrays? So first what we'll do is, uh, how do we do regularly? So first we'll understand the logic, how to implement the program and then we'll write the program manually. Okay. So let's start the understanding the logic. So first what we'll do is, how do you find the intersection? First we'll take two arrays. Okay. For example, one, two, three, four. Okay. So this is one array and let's take the another array. For example, five, four, seven, eight. And uh, what are the two common elements? Intersection is nothing but the common elements in between these two arrays we call it as an intersection. And if you take here, so the common element is 4. So the intersection of two arrays is 4. Hope you got it. So, so this is the problem statement. Let's find out the solution. How do we implement this? So first what we will do is we will take one set. Assume that we will create one set. Uh, take it as an uh, hash set okay so what we'll do we'll create one hash set and then first we'll iterate the elements of this array what we'll do first we'll iterate this array and we'll store the first element which is one and then we'll iterate through the second element and we'll get the add it to the set again we'll iterate through the third element and add it to the set we'll iterate through the fourth element and add it to the set okay so Till now we are good, right? So what we did, we added all the elements of first array into the set. Now what we are going to do is, we'll iterate through the elements of second array. Okay, we'll iterate through the elements of second array. And then, so we have iterated through each and every element in this array and then added to the set S. Now we have the set S. Now what we'll do is we'll iterate the okay elements of the next array. Okay, we'll iterate through the elements of the second array and we'll check whether that element is present in this set or not. If it is not present, okay, if it is not present, that means it is not common element. If it is present, then it is a common element. Okay, we call it as an intersection and we'll print that element. So first what we did, we added all the elements of this array into this set. Now we'll iterate through the elements of the second array and we'll check whether that element is present in this set or not. Okay, first we'll iterate 5. 5 is present in this set? No, we'll ignore this. Second, 4 is present in this set? No, uh, yes, so 4 element is present. So what we'll do, we'll print the element saying that in the element equal to 4. So the intersection is 4. Next what we'll do? We'll take the third element which is 7 and we'll check whether that 7 is present in this set or not. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 7 is present in this one two set? No. And let's take 8 and check whether this 8 is present in this set? No. So hope you got uh, the logic how we implemented. So finally, the, what is the intersection of two arrays? Which is 4. Okay, this is how we implement the logic. So let's write the program and run the program. Okay. So as I told you, I have taken a new class uh, which is called class intersection and then now what I'll do, okay, I'll write one main method, so public static void main, string arts, Public static void main. So I have written the main method and first step what is that? We need to take two arrays. Let's create two integer arrays. So int array one 
Erevan equal to O one two three. Okay, so this is the first array. Now uh, I'll create one more array which is in array two is equal to five four seven and eight. I have taken two arrays. One is array one and the other one is array two. Okay. Now what we need to do is uh, I'll create a uh, one method called print intersection okay what i'll do i'll create one method called print intersection and then pass these two arrays to the method array one array two so let's create a method and then click on quick fix and create this method So this method is created print intersection and then uh, what it will do so here what I have just given return type as void why because if there is any common element I will just print in this method itself okay and then array 1 and array 2 so we will be passing two arrays to this method now what we are going to do now we have array 1 array 2 and then we will create one asset so hash set as I told you I'll be taking hash set and then I'll store the element of first array so hash set of integer hs equal to new hash set of okay so this is the hs now what I'll do I'll iterate through the elements of the array one and each element of the array 1 and add it to the hash set. So let's iterate through the elements of array 1. Uh, how do we iterate? So just say for int i equal to 0, i less than array 1 dot length and then i plus plus. Okay, i plus plus. Now what I will be doing? So just take each and every element and add. so how do we add the element to the set we have a method called add in the hash set okay so using this method we can add an element to the set how do we extract each and every element of an array just say array of i so hs dot array of i let's check what is the issue here array cannot be resolved sorry array one of i okay so when array 0 will be stored in the first element in the uh, first element of the array into the set if it is uh, array of 1 so we'll be passing i mean we'll be storing the second value into the set if array equal to 2 we'll be storing the third element 2 into the set hope you understand the logic so what we are doing we are adding each and every element of the array 1 to the set okay now we have added each and every element now what is the second step we will iterate through the element second array and check whether that second element's array are present in the set or not. Okay. So let's iterate through the elements of second array. So what is how do you do that? Int i equal to 0. I less than array 2 dot length i plus plus. And then now what I'll be doing, I'll be checking whether the set contains this element or not. Which element? Array 2 of i. Okay, if hs contains array 2 of i. So if the element is present in this set, what we'll be doing? Okay, we'll be printing array 2 of i. out array 2 of i okay so this is one method as i told you what i did we need to iterate to the element and we need to check whether this 
element is present in this set or not so we are checking whether this uh, element is present in the set or not if it is present what we say system dot out dot print ln uh, we say array of two now what we are going to do we'll just run this program and check it's working or not so run as java application you see four so the intersection of two L two arrays what is this four now i'm just changing here we have only one element so far i'm making it as four now what i'll do i'll make it as i'll add one more element two now uh, the common elements in between these two arrays are what four and two it should print four and two so let's run the program and see the output are you getting or not so four and two okay so hope you got this right so how we implemented this program hope you understand the logic and the implementation of this program so this is pretty simple just iterate the elements of first array and add it to the hash set okay and then iterate the elements of the second array each element of the array is present in the set or not okay so thanks for watching my video if you like my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thank you